Welcome back to my channel everyone. Today we're going to be reviewing the Herpa 1200 B1B Bomber. This is the uh, first time it's been done in the camouflage paint scene that was done in the 1980s. And uh, my first impressions of the box, I love that photo of the prototype in the front. It's just a gorgeous photo. So as we open up the panel, there is uh, some information about the aircraft with some specs on it. And then on the bottom, you can see the actual model itself in a little window. So let's go ahead and open this puppy up and take a look. Herba did a really good, nice job in uh, securing the model. It was in a plastic uh, mold. The instructions basically explain how to install the stand and other additional parts that it comes with. The model is die cast with plastic pieces, but the um, majority of it is die cast. The model does include a stand. It's pretty easy to assemble. All you have to do is snap it together and display your model. So I have to give it to Herpa. Uh, they did an amazing job just designing this aircraft. I am impressed with all the separate pieces that they included. I'm impressed with the uh, molded panels that they put into the fuselage and the wings. Uh, it's just so many things to look at on this aircraft. There's even some features inside that you can see through the cockpit. So that's uh, something that's unusual for a 1200 aircraft. Uh, something I'm not used to, but it is a pretty cool addition. The landing gear was done very nicely. All the wheels actually sit right flat on the, uh, the board without any issues. And uh, the plane could be displayed in a uh, swept wing or uh, landing configuration, which is pretty neat. One of my biggest pet peeves when reviewing these models are uh, the parts that are supposed to be standing out like the antenna and domes. Are they uh, being represented with decals? And I have not noticed that on this model. At the bottom, uh, the landing gear is plastic and the wheels are, uh, or the uh, tires are rubber and they do roll. It's pretty cool that you can see all the uh, Bombay doors uh, printed into the fuselage. launch, so that is just a really cool, all these cool features, really impressed with this. Jeez, all the mounted panels and the, the lines and everything's so, done so nicely on this aircraft. Even with the decaling, it's uh, very clear to see so now moving on to the engines, uh, we're going to go ahead and take a laser pointer to the inside of the uh, turbofans. You can see that they added the features of the, the actual turbofans inside. And even in the intake uh, side of the uh, engine housing, there's additional features that you can see. Hopefully you all can see that. So looking at the profile of the actual aircraft with the wings, and the vertical stabilizer, the wheels and everything. Everything looks very symmetrical. Uh, I didn't notice any drooping of the wings, uh, anything kind of lagging, any parts falling off or uh, broken. Uh, everything was very nice. Paint was uh, done very nicely as well. There's no uh, bleed. Uh, so extremely impressed with it.
like I mentioned before, the model does come with additional parts. Uh, those parts include a staircase that uh, attaches to the bottom of the fuselage and also two wing insulation uh, pieces that fit uh, right behind the wings uh, on the fuselage itself. And there's a little slot uh, that you can install that staircase in. Uh, so, And there is uh, an additional piece to uh, have the closed configuration as well. So that's what it looks like with the stairs installed. And now I'm going to show you how to install the two insulation pieces that fit right behind the wing on the fuselage. So what you pretty much do is just uh, pop these uh, rubber pieces in. And uh, they are normally are supposed to just fit securely right against the fuselage and against the wing. I did have a previous B1B that uh, these fit very easily into and uh, didn't have an issue, but for whatever reason, I don't know if these ones warped or whatever happened, uh, but this, this particular thing was a little hard to put in. But this is the final results of what it looks like. So you can only display uh, these insulation units when the uh, plane is in its landing configuration, basically with the wings spread out. Uh, it cannot uh, be displayed with the swept back uh, position. So like I mentioned before, uh, you can display the uh, stairs, or you can remove the stairs and uh, display the aircraft with the closed door. So now for um, my critiques of the aircraft. Uh, as much as I do like that look of the interior of the cockpit, I do have to say that Herpa could have done a better job in uh, making the uh, lines a little closer and more crisp to the fuselage itself. It's my biggest criticism, I think my only criticism of the model. Uh, the biggest feature that I love is the uh, pitot tubes that stand out. So the plane weighs uh, 5.1 ounces. I'm going to start doing that in my videos for now on, just showing the weights of the actual models and uh, giving you perspective of, of how each one weighs and what to expect. But uh, yeah, I am extremely impressed with Herpa's workmanship with this. I think they did an amazing job besides that cockpit. Yes, they could have gotten this a little more flush, but I know what they were trying to do with the uh, interior details. Well, I am selling these models on my uh, store, and I will include the link on the bottom of the page, so please uh, go take a look. I do hope that you enjoyed this uh, review of the uh, Herpa B1B bomber. I do plan to uh, do a review on the TU-160 and uh, B-52 and also the uh, C-5 Galaxy. All models are done by Herp as well. So please uh, stay tuned and watch for those videos uh, coming out in the near future. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe. Take care, everyone.